want to say, like, Clarissa Shields, she is very confident. But, you guys, is this confidence or is this delusion? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so super long, you guys. <laughs> welcome back to Her Mother Checking Opinion. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to listen to what I have to say. Let's get right into the disclaimer. If you guys are interested in listening to a woman speak from a very balanced perspective, I don't pick sides. I don't, you know, agree just because you're a female, just because you're a male, just because you're black. No, I'm all about what's right. and I'm all about the truth and what's morally sound. I will always try my best to remain objective when I cover topics. So if that's something that you're interested in, then this is the channel for you. So you guys, my friend sent me this article um regarding Clarissa Shields so for those who may not know I am a super big boxing fan and they're like I have my favorite boxers and then I latch on to like whatever they're doing like as far as whoever they're fighting and stuff like that when my friend sent me this article I was like what like is she serious so let's go ahead and get into this article and then I'm gonna come back and give my commentary so Clarissa Shields starts camp for Keith Thurman fight after calling the former male world champion out for an unprecedented showdown. So, Clarissa Shields claims she is in camp to face Keith Thurman after calling out the former male welterweight champion for an unprecedented battle of the sexes. Shields, who is the undisputed women's middleweight champion, challenged Thurman to a fight on Monday and stated that she is bigger and taller than him. The exchange, the exchange started on Twitter when the self-proclaimed quote responded to a post highlighting quotes from Errol Spence Jr., who lost his un, oh, sorry you guys, who lost his unified war to weight titles in a one-sided defeat by Terence Crawford at the weekend. The tweet revealed how Spence Jr. had said, "I didn't even feel like even considering Keith Thurman as an opponent." Shields was quick to respond, saying. I'll fight Thurman at 154 pounds, so serious. All the respect in the world to him, too. I just think I can outbox him. So there's a picture of her. There's a picture of Keith Thurman. Here's some tweets of them going back and forth. She tweeted, camp started for Keith Thurman Jr. Activated, let's go. I'm going to get in the gym with Shakur Stevenson to help me prepare. And... She responded by saying, oh, Keith Thurman, you are hilarious. Yes, you are a man and one time champion, but you are not good enough to only use one hand on me now for charity or raising money for a foundation. We can definitely do it. I'll come in at 162. I'm actually bigger than you and taller. Keith said he don't want to punch a girl in the face. Well, I want to punch a man named Keith in the face for charity. So that's funny. So continue reading here. Thurman responded replied to Shields and said he would consider a charity fight which would see the quotes wear bigger gloves and head protection. Additionally, he would be res restricted to using his jab against the leading pound for pound female boxer. Thurman finished by saying, I don't want to punch a girl in the face, to which Shields replied, oh Keith, you are hilarious. So that's the tweet I just read out. Above, the Olympic gold medalist added, yes, you are a man and champion, but you are not good enough to only use one hand on me. So yeah, we just read that part. So Shields has now revealed she has started camp. So there you go. This is not the first time Shields has called out a male fighter. She previously challenged Jake Paul to a $100,000 six round sparring session. However, Paul never took Shields up on the opportunity. So as a result, Shields is now looking to secure a bout with Thurman, who boasts an impressive 32-1 record. Thurman has recorded 22 knockouts and holds victories over the likes of Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and Mario Barrios. His only defeat came against Manny Pacquiao when he lost a split decision and surrendered his WBA super welterweight title back in July of 2019. However, Shields may be jumping the gun by starting camp for their potential bout as Thurman has since called out Terrence Crawford. Thurman requested a fight with Crawford after he dismantled Spence Jr. in round nine of their highly anticipated fight over the weekend. Speaking about the speaking after the bout, Thurman said the better athlete won today. Crawford did his thing. Already said I'm next. Y'all already know. You want to keep fighting. You want to keep doing great fights. You want to keep selling out. You want to do these pay per view views. These pay per views. Thurman right here, baby. Thurman has no fear, baby. So that is the article, you guys. 
let me be the first to say I love me some Clarissa Shields. Like I feel like she is badass, and she is a. Sh- talker but she can back up the sh- that she talk so in that case i don't mind it like you talk your issue you could back it up what's the problem with that saying in itself is full of sh- talkers i want to say like clarissa shields she is very confident but you guys is this confidence or is this delusion i understand that keith thurman hasn't really boxed in a while or whatnot professionally but sis do you really think that you can be a professional male boxer. If you've watched Keith Thurman box and you've watched his him knock, like knock a person out, knock another man out, it's like, I see why he's like, you know what, if you wanna fight me, I want you to wear some head protection gear and I want you to have bigger gloves so you can kinda do a little bit more damage. He wants to, you know, offset it a bit so where she could get like the bigger advantage. If he was to get in a ring with this woman, and box her like he boxes men do y'all really think clarissa shields is gonna come out on top clarissa is like i'm taller than you i'm bigger than you but it's something that's like just unfair regarding like how well i won't say unfair but it's just how god who whomever you believe in nature god created the male versus the female and like males are just genetically biologically um physiologically they are stronger than us like they're stronger than us i mean everything down to the 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 bone how their bone structure is the bone density the bone mass the muscle mass the potential for natural muscle growth of a man versus a woman like it, it's just different that's why they call it man power i get it clarissa any any regular average dude out here probably every man that's gonna watch this video yeah clarissa could probably knock you out i'm, I'm gonna stand on that i'll bet my last penny that clarissa clarissa shields she would knock you out I'm about another professional male boxer that literally spars with other men that literally has gotten punched on by other men that literally like works just as hard as you if not more likely lifts heavier than you body hardening that he has developed over the years from getting punched by men is not going to compare to the body hardening that clarissa shields has by getting punched on by women like the strength factor the impact factor of the body is not the same so one good hit to clarissa's head she's gonna drop i feel like i love her confidence but i feel like this this has some delusion in it it's possible to have such a big ego and to be like so super confident in yourself to where reality just kind of dissipates call me old school call me sexist call me whatever you want to call me but like i said if it was her versus a regular average cat maybe even like a jake paul i feel like her and jake paul that would have been a good fight because jake paul is is not a professional boxer who has like the history of knockouts that keith thurman has like right he's like an amateur he's like it's it's jake paul right but jake paul is in a totally different arena from keith thurman sean porter um errol spence regard regardless of him losing against terrence crawford terrence crawford is like the greatest so he lost big whoopty right but like jake paul is in a whole different arena her going against jake paul that's more sound mind like yeah she could dog walk him but going against keith thurman regardless of if you're taller or you're bigger that doesn't mean that you're more stronger that doesn't mean that you have more impact behind your punch either way if he decides to box this lady and you know she's talking all this big right she's talking all this i could beat you i can outbox you all this other stuff right she's talking all that big right but it's like if he was to say okay you want to talk all this well let me humble you get in the ring with me no headgear same gloves that i use and let's box and if keith thurman hits her in her head under that chin one good time and she drops then it's like the blowback that he's gonna receive 
It's going to be a lot of blowback. Oh, Keith, you should have never done that. You know you're a man. You know you're stronger. Regardless of what she's saying, let her talk her sh because you know your strength as a man, right? You know your strength, right? She has knocked out and boxed other women, but she has not. She don't She don't have a record of knocking out and boxing other men like professional men, professional boxers, right? So it's a lose-lose because if he decides to just box her like a man which is basically what she's asking for and he does it real dirty then people are going to come at him he's a woman beater all type of stuff he's going to deal with he might lose some brand sponsors and all type of ish right but if he was to um you know do the do the head gear do the um bigger gloves do the one hand boxing her right and she gets the best of them right it's gonna be like oh keith you got knocked out by a girl oh clarissa shields not keith thurman out how do you really deal with this honestly i don't know if keith thurman is actually gonna do it uh, he clearly has his eyes set on terrence crawford so he you know fighting a female come on fighting a female that's probably like he probably like really like come on like I got bigger fish to fry. I want Terrence Croft. Y'all, I just wanted to bring a topic to my channel that's more lighthearted, more funny, kind of, you know, still women being delusional, right? Confidence, delusional, I don't know what to call it at this point, but I wanted to bring it to my channel. You know, the boxing fans out there, let me know you guys' thoughts about this. Do you feel like this woman is tripping? Like, she's just, she just so ego-filled to where she just feels like she can box a man. And do you feel like he should actually box her for real? Like, take off the helmet. I don't want bigger gloves. Like, okay, you want to challenge me? I'm going to treat you like another guy and I'm going to box you. And when I knock you down, when I knock you out, I don't want to hear all these people talking about, oh, you should have never did that. I don't want to hear her crying and all this other stuff. You wanted it. You got the smoke that you asked for. I don't know. So you guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.